Okay, so let's start by writing a quick um, Google service um, that will just output the text hello world to start with. Um, we are on Google Drive. Um, create a new folder. Let's call it Google services. We go inside that folder and I will create a new Google Apps script. Now, if you don't see this on the list, just search for it um, by going to connect more apps and install it from there. Okay. So this new um, service, I'm going to give it the name. Um, Hello service. Right, so the first thing we need to do is to write a special function called do get. This is the function that will be executed when we call this service. Okay, and I simply just want to return the text hello world. Now we can't just return a text string. What we need to do is we need to create an HTML output. And to do that, we use the HTML service and create HTML output. And inside the brackets, we define our um, text string that we want to return. Okay. Um, so we need to publish this and deploy it as a web app. Um, we choose a new version and then it's important that we run it and we, we make it accessible to anyone even anonymous because later on when we start writing our when we start um, calling this from Excel um, we will need I mean Excel will be regarded as an anonymous um, client uh, um, so this anonymous means that it can, it, the, the client doesn't have to be logged in um, with a Google account. Okay, so we deploy that and we'll be given this URL. Let's copy that. And if we go to a new tab, paste it here and run it, hopefully we'll be getting um, hello world. Okay, so instead of writing hello world um, let's return um, so let's say a uh, let name equals um, John for example okay and now instead of saying hello world let's say hello John it's going to be name okay but we don't want to hard code the name here. What we need is we need to be able to receive the name from the URL, okay, from the client that is calling the service. To do that, we will just add some arguments to the end at the end of the uh, para the, the the URL. So let's call it name equals okay and then we have John okay let's say John Smith oh so we don't need these um, okay so let's say John Smith okay unfortunately we cannot just add a space there because a space is not a valid character in a URL so what we need to do is we need to use the hexadecimal um, code um, for the space and it happens to be um, 20 or not 20 sorry it's 20 okay it's a hexadecimal number to actually um, make sure that it's interpreted as a space we need to concatenate that so we put a plus here we put a plus in the beginning and then we put a percent sign so what will happen is these characters plus percent two zero plus 
that will be replaced by a space okay and then on our server side what we can do is do get will receive a, um, a parameter um, uh, let's call it event okay and then that event I can um, will have a an object called parameter and then from there we can access any parameter that we pass um, to it okay so here we called it name uh, here we need to access name okay once we've saved that uh, we publish it again make sure that you choose new version and then update it will be exactly the same URL um, and now hopefully when we run this we will get um, hello John Smith okay perfect so this is our first um, service next in the next video what we'll do is we'll create a, um, a Google Maps service where we can pass to it two destinations or two locations and it will calculate the time taken and the distance between these locations okay um, if you found this video useful please don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel thank you and I'll see you in the next video